Nobody I know. We're all just patiently waiting for Flyby Wire to finally release their new A380 for the Microsoft Flight Simulator. I mean, you know, this is going to be a free plane, and they just keep teasing us with these videos here. It's, I mean, doesn't this look awesome? Yes, this plane is actually going to be released very soon, but so far, we don't have an A380 yet for the Flight Simulator, do we? We actually do, actually. Yes. But yes, welcome back to an interesting website site called msfs add-on you guys keep telling me to check this out because they have interesting planes uploaded that you can download like an a380 for the flight simulator with a working cockpit and everything this is something that i actually have never taken a proper look at basically the microsoft flight simulator add-on.com website seems a bit sketchy i don't know what maria db is why is there you know what it's a seal whatever it is yeah it's just a bit strange i mean look at this download button. Like, you don't even know which one's the right one. And then you get led to a modfire.com website where you have to skip a lot of ads here. Not very trustworthy, especially when it comes to simulation, is it? But everybody, I've finally done it now. I have downloaded the A3 AT here for the flight simulator. So um, let's, let's check it out. <clears throat> I mean, you know, the fact is that this plane will cost exactly as much as the fly-by-wire will cost. Nothing. So let's try this out. All right. <clears throat> welcome to the Switzerland. And um, also welcome aboard our brand new A380. Now, size-wise, this plane looks just as big as it does in real life. The engines are overlapping the runway, as you can see, which is one of the main reasons this plane does not have full reverse thrust on all engines. Let's check the reverse thrust. I'm going full reverse. You can see that. Uh, there is no reverse thrust animation at all. That seems nice. I don't know why the windows are illuminated. Um, a few graphical things that don't really make sense. Something that's important to me about the Airbus A380 is to check whether the tilted landing gear is just like it is in real life. See, it has like forward tilted landing gear. Is that also the case here? Also, why is there a random... Sp you know what? The beacon light kind of does worry me. It's just appearing. What is that? All right, great one. Okay. Welcome aboard our flying A380 model. We've got an interesting sound design. Really doesn't sound like any other aircraft here in the Microsoft Flight Simulator, so that's good. And oh yeah, I mean the landing gear animation seems fine so far. Yes, coming down. And yes, as you can see, we have tilted landing gear, so we can even try some A380 smooth landings. Okay, outside model, check. It's not good, but it's not terrible. Inside model, okay, we've got the A320 cockpit. All right, you know what? I'm 100% sure that it's like the old style FSX conversions, basically. They took an old FSX A380 model and just put it into the new flight simulator and put a new Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 cockpit into it, which was already included, everybody, the A320. Which, you know what? It's better than nothing, that is for sure. It's better than having no A380 at all, especially because, I mean, all Airbus cockpits basically look the same, even though the Airbus A380 is a bit more modern. But you know what? I don't even hate it this much at all. I mean, you know what? Even though I do hate the A380, I forgot about that. Anyway, time to check out proper flying here on board our A380. Let's go ahead and put the flaps down, arm, the spoilers and everything. How does the A380 handle and how does it land? Let's find out. All right. You know what annoys me a whole lot more than it probably should is the fact that we only got two engines here on the on the ACAS. I hate that. Anyway, what I can tell is that this plane actually handles like a very big bird. This is not as agile as the A320. I think they've actually done some physics modification. Oh, God, let's not die. Come on, go full power. A bit underpowered, the A380. All right, it's coming for a bit of a landing here. <laughs> Try this out. Oh, oh, no. Oh, I'm pulling up all the way. That has not been smooth at all. But I mean, you know, that's just how the A380 lands. It's not that... Land. Shut up. All right, there we go. Put reverse thrust up. And yes! That's a bit, it's a bit weird. Actually, only one engine of the four has reverse thrust animation. Doesn't really make much sense at all. I, I don't really get... Well, okay. See, it, well, it didn't work before at all. Now it works a bit, so that's great. All right, that's been a landing. I'm just afraid it wasn't great. But what, what is great, really, is the landing. I like this animation quite a bit. Right, there you go. Okay, that's not been a great landing. Yeah, the plane did perform very weirdly at the end. You can see All that. All right, though, that's been, that's been proper, I think. It's been a very quick stop as well. Right. So, I mean, considering this plane is completely free and even comes with a few viruses that you get when downloading it, I don't think this is even that bad at all. I would give this like a 7 out of 10 or maybe a 6 out of a six and a half. Maybe, yeah. You know what? This, this plane is really only properly flyable if you're really desperate for it. 
But after all, it is a fully working plane. You can make full flights with it. Maybe it's a bit of a substitution until we get the proper fly-by-wire. All right, anyway, I want to try something. Oh, okay, you know what? Okay. Yeah, okay. Scrap that idea. All right, never mind. Uh, let's move on. Because, of course, the MSFS addon.com has a lot more of aircrafts to offer. You don't... There's no plural to aircraft. But anyway, let's not get bogged down with grammatical errors. We've got lots more of interesting stuff to check out. For example, this A340. I love the A340. The thing is, though, I tried downloading this right here, the A340.zip. And this is what happens when you try to open it. It's, uh, it's broken. I've tried it met several times. So what a shame we won't be able to fly this one. <laughs> Great. You know, the sketchiness I was talking about. Anyway, another plane that I found very interesting is, of course, the Airbus A350 XWB. And I can already see that this is an FSX picture. So I'm guessing this is going to be just another conversion plane, right? Oh, yeah. I can, I can already see it. I mean, even, <laughs> even the thumbnail here. <laughs> That's just FSX. I, I think I remember actually having reviewed this plane before. But on another website. Is it possible that the MSFS dot com website likes to steal planes who knows maybe this guy does all right mm, on the sea here oh uh nothing to see here indeed welcome aboard at a350 okay so i see i mean this plane for example here this one came out la last year jesus christ already over a year old that's ridiculous and you can see that because you know microsoft likes to put out updates that make old planes or the installed planes unusable like you can see here now we've got a bit of a green screen situation going on like we do here i mean isn't that nice uh, i mean you know i'm oh Oh, you know what? Hotline bling and everything. That's kind of cool. Cool design choice. It's just not really possible to see anything out of your window. By the way, the cockpit is the 787, which honestly isn't that bad of an idea, really. After all, the 757 is the Boeing's equivalent to the A350. And oh, the plane has kind of died. I've, I've just given full power and it's already died. So not only is the cockpit broken, but it's also the engines that just won't work. Everybody, this is a great video. Great website. Come on, show me the landing gear. Yes. This was definitely developed from a very nice add-on here for the FSX flight simulator. Looks actually quite proper to me. I like this very much. If it only worked. So um, yeah, this only gets a 1 out of 10 for me because it's just unusable. By the way, this is freshly downloaded, right? So this one, nah, no. <laughs> Great. But buddy, I know we freshly have released a new 737-800 from PMDG like a few days ago. But that one costs $70. This one costs nothing here on the on the webs. Um, mm -hmm. what is, does it have eyebrow windows? Oh, no. Right, so many nice 737s and then there's this one right here. This is going to go very well. All right, so welcome aboard a 737-800, and it really has the eyebrow windows. This is definitely the 737 from FSX, once again converted. You know what I should call this video the best FSX conversion? 2022, everybody. The flight simulator's been out for two years. Anyway, this is the best that no money gets you, and uh, you can see it has barely any windows. Why are the windows so weirdly tinted? Okay, let's check this out here. Cockpit. Ooh. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. What I can see is a 747 cockpit. Seriously, definitely. I mean, this is, yeah, of course. 747, four engines, still going strong, but two engine display here, which honestly is not as bad as having four engines on display. They put in some work, but this is, it sounds like a 747 too. Probably handles like one. So that is some um, proper realism, I, I'll tell ya. Let's go full power. Maybe this is going to work or something. And it uh, isn't. It isn't working, so that's great. Okay, good, good. Uh, right. I mean, at least this model is completely functional, even though, um, oh, geez, look at the APU right there. That's some nice texturing, you know, nice artifacts from the FSX 2006, everybody. Great. Check this out. <laughs> Good model. The thing I at least did was change the ident right here to 737-800. That is at least, that's the least amount of work I, I'd expect. But of course, this is still the 747. Nothing new to see here at all. Great. So everybody, what is up with this MSFS addon.com? And they're special planes. It, they're not great. No, not, not, not any of these are perfect. A380 is decent and they're all free, but these are very barely updated, by the way. Last release was like over two months ago already. So yeah, not very active, but you should uh, stay, stick to flightsim.to definitely. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night.